Normally, I would be floating above you, godlike, with the magic powered by a hundred Negroes working as one. <laughs> but today, Kyle here had to get an actual chair for me because someone defied the society. You are banished from the American Society of Magical Negroes. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so nice? Uh, why are you so nice? Because I'm friendly? Because white people will kill you. Oh, my. Well, I mean, it shouldn't be a big deal to you since you're so good with white people. My mom's white. I, I, I grew up with white people. I'm sure that didn't mess you up at all. <laughs> you're scared. OK, fine. Yeah, fine. All right. Here I go. I know you can feel their discomfort, Aaron. It's the loudest thing in every room you walk into. Probably has been your whole life. What did you do to make them look at you that way? And what are they going to do to you next? White discomfort is a menace, Aaron. Stop running from it and start listening to it. Stop running from it and start listening to it. William. May I offer you another perspective? Yeah, sure. I do need people to buy your art. I'm sorry. There's one collector left. Go talk to him. You know, maybe my work is stronger if I let it sit. Go! It's a, okay? Hey, get over here. Oh Tootie. my, come on. They're, they're too small just, on the screen. Can I just, no! I am good, I think, at this job. You're the best of us. Oh, I don't know about that. No, I went to RISD with some great designers. Uh, You're killing it. Thank you, thank you. Right before the mugging, he was so sure the world wasn't going to come for him that it took him a super long time to realize he was getting mugged. I swear mm. to God, for a split second, he thought the knife was a present for him. Like, in his yeah. mind, it was more likely that mm. a stranger would give him a random gift than that they would try to hurt him. Totally, yes. I mean, for Christ's sake, there's a section of your presentation that's called Diverse Experiences. It's a dumb title, but it's in there. You couldn't be less interested in that or me. Oh, you want to get in on this, Mick? Oh, you think you understand me? You own an island. No one with an island has empathy. It's not possible to possess both things. You are not my friend.
a little hiccup that was very similar to Liz, and I just had to really step in, and I had to be, I had to be strong, and I can do this now. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just shut up. You did slavery, like, like as an institution. How, how did we get there? All you had to do was listen to me and the thing that I was saying about myself. And it has taken me my whole life to figure out that this is something that I walk around with all the time. And after this lifelong journey of figuring out that maybe this shit impacts everything I do, you want to turn around and act like I'm crazy for acknowledging it? No, 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 no. You don't get to put me in danger just because you don't want to feel like an asshole. That changes everything. Aaron. It changes how I walk Aaron. and how I talk and how I take up Shh. space or okay. don't. Stop. It changes what risks feel Stop. reasonable Stop. and which ones are insane. And it's taken me my whole life to realize that this is a weight that I walk around with all the time. So there's just basically all this research right now that says you have to spend a lot of time not working. Who's ball? Come on. <laughs> I say yes. <laughs> I say hold on, wait. Yes. Why don't you just settle in? Cool. Looks like we're neighbors. Guess so, yeah.